his teaching was meant only for his people until the time the next prophet came. Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, did not come for whole humanity. He only came for the Jews and his teaching was only for the Jews. Baby, you can call me a superman. Cho 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 Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos other than reaction videos of which we post every day by the way and you guys can feel free to suggest something and we'll react to it other than doing reaction videos we've got a second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 on that channel we post weekly vlogs we post vlogs at least on over the weekends and you can just head there subscribe enjoy the content and let us know if you want to see pranks challenges games whatever the case is and we'll do it for you guys we've got a patreon account which you guys can feel free to, to become members and we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse you can find us here um here on youtube um spotify and itunes like i said diving in with funny and jesse that's our podcast name for everything else that you do you guys can head to the description box the links are there and you can just click them check everything that we do and a big shout out to everyone that's been suggesting things subscribing interacting with us you guys are the best and a big shout out to the person that actually suggested this video i know we've taken long to do it but we're finally doing it and yeah so as you can tell from the title today Today we'll be reacting to Christian Brother Challenge Dr. Zaki Naik on Prophet Muhammad in the Bible indirectly. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. So, my name is Dalen and uh, I, I work here. I'm into sales. And I, I, it, I have a, a question which is a little out of topic, but it was something that I, it was a video I seen and, and honestly I did, I did like the video and I, and I and I did like what Dr. Da, uh, Zakir Naik said but there was a couple of videos which went refuting it and honestly I didn't like the way people refuted it and it because they refuted it with a lot of disrespect so uh, I didn't really like that but I just I just have a question and I <laughs> kind of wrote it down uh, Dr. Zakir Naik uh, yeah uh, in, in a video a couple of years ago, uh, you actually mentioned uh, in John, uh, it's from the Bible, guys. Uh, John uh, chapter 15, verse 26, and it says, When the Comforter will come, who I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceed from the Father. Uh, there was a reference which it said is talking about uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And uh, I uh, really don't uh, get that in which way, you know, because, you know, the Bible says it talks about the Holy Spirit. And I really do not get that. If you can just make that a little clear for me. And, yeah, that's it. And there's just another word. And, well, there's another verse which is on that. But, I mean, if you could just answer this. Well, that's a very good question. And as I'd like to know, as for the rules of the question of session, that the non-Muslims can ask any question on the topic out of the topic the non-muslims are free to ask any question on on comparative religion whether it be islam christianity hinduism buddhism they are most welcome as far as the muslims are concerned they should ask only questions on the topic so any non-muslims have any question this is the opportunity you can come on the microphone they would be given the first chance we'd only like to have the name and the profession so that i would be in a better position to reply the brother asked the question and before asking the question he said that he's seen my video clipping and he also saw people refuting he didn't like the people refuted and this is common you know when you start getting popular there are many people who are writing against you and this is common but there are many people replying to these refutations also alhamdulillah the question posed by the by the brother was regarding one of my talks in where I tried to mention about the mention of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Bible, in the New Testament, Gospel of John chapter number 15 verse 26. And I've given many references talking about the Comforter. 
Gospel of John chapter number 14 verse number 16 Gospel of John chapter number 16 verse number 7 and Gospel of John chapter number 16 verse number 11 to 14 talking about the comforter the brother wants to know wants to have more details he didn't understand clearly in this reference I clearly mentioned in the Gospel of John chapter 14 verse number 16 it says that that I have told my father to send a comforter and he will send it to you in Gospel of John chapter number 15 verse 26 that when I go to my father he send a comforter who will abide with you forever further it goes in the Gospel of John chapter number 16 verse number 7 that it is expedient for you that I go away for if I go not away the comforter shall not come for, for if he comes shall I depart now for this comforter there are criteria mentioned the comforter now when we talk about this comforter many a time the Christian missionaries say that this comforter refers to the Holy Spirit actually the correct word in the Greek and Aramaic is parakletos paraclete means the praiseworthy if you translate praiseworthy into Arabic it becomes Muhammad now they have converted paraclete into parakletos which means lovely or which means uh, comforter now irrespective whether it's paraclete or the praiseworthy or whether it is paracletos or whether it is comforter both befit the prophet Muhammad now coming to the next prophet in gospel of John chapter number 16 verse number 7 the prophecy also says that it is expedient for you that I go away that Jesus Christ peace be upon should go away for if he does not go away the comforter shall not come for if he departs shall he come so if the Christian missionary say that this comforter refers to the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit was already there before Jesus Christ peace be upon him was born the Holy Spirit according to the Bible was there in the womb of Elizabeth it was also there when Jesus Christ peace be upon him was alive so surely this comforter cannot refer to the Holy Spirit Spirit because one of the criteria for the Holy Spirit is that only Jesus Christ peace be upon him goes will this comforter come therefore this comforter refers to no one but the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad peace be upon him furthermore if you read in the gospel of John chapter number 16 verse number 12 to 14 it says that Jesus Christ peace be upon him says that I have many things to send to you but he cannot bear them now for he when the spirit of truth shall come he shall guide you unto all truth he shall not speak of himself all that here shall he speak he shall glorify me so here again it says that Jesus Christ peace be upon him says I have many things to say unto you but he cannot bear them now for he when the spirit of truth shall come he shall guide you unto all truth he shall not speak of himself all that here shall he speak he 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 indicating it cannot be Holy Spirit and all that here shall he speak talking about Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam never spoke of himself all that revelation he got from almighty god he repeated it and he shall glorify me and the only prophet that has glorified jesus christ peace be upon him is prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so if you read all these references and the references in the old testament and new testament all these put together refer to no one but the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad peace be upon him uh, hope that answers the question I, that day, just just one just one more thing uh, what does it mean when it said that he may abide with you forever uh, he will abide with you forever means he will stay with you forever now stay physically or? yes very good same have two meaning one is physically one is spiritually mm -hmm. one is in teaching now because prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger after him no messenger will come so his teaching will always stay with you okay. he will abide with you forever that means his teaching is still eternity all the earlier prophets that came prophet Moses his teaching was meant only for his people until the time the next prophet came prophet Jesus peace be upon him did not come for whole humanity he only came for the Jews and his teaching was only there till the last prophet came so when Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam came he will abide you with forever that means his teaching will be with forever and you have to follow his commandment till the last day hope that's the question I'm, I'm, I'm done here just just a last thing and I'm done sure, uh, it says uh, uh, even the spirit of truth is there any other reference of uh, any other uh, person uh, 
or a being which is referred to as the spirit of truth in the Quran because I mean uh, there's a couple of my Muslim friends I mean I haven't really gone a check and gone and checked this and I was actually I wanted to see you so I was in a hurry and I didn't get time to check this but uh, one of my Muslim friends who said that this uh, angel Gabriel that's uh, Jibril he was also referred to as the spirit of truth and uh, if so is that the same person as what what is the meaning of spirit of spirit of truth I've got various meanings that can imply if it applies to an angel, yes, the angel Gabriel is a spirit. He was Archangel Gabriel who was given the work of getting the revelation from Almighty God unto the messengers, including Prophet Muhammad. That was his role. He is Archangel Gabriel. But the spirit of truth is just, it means the person who is truthful. It can refer to an angel, it can refer to a human being. Here in the context when it says, he, 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 but spirit? it says, he when the spirit of truth shall come. Spirit of truth means a person who is truthful. And it says he. A spirit is never called he. I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he when the spirit of truth shall come. He shall guide you unto all truth. He again, spirit is... It, it, I mean, uh, I know a spirit, I mean... When it comes to he, I mean, when like when like when we speak of the Holy Spirit, we believe that it's the Spirit of Christ, and and we actually refer to Holy Spirit as he. And now I don't say that, uh, like uh, I do not say like the Holy. I I believe Holy Spirit is a person, so I always did refer to Spirit as he. Fine. So if you Spirit of Truth can have two meanings, if it can mean a person, it can mean can mean uh, angel. If you read the full prophecy. What it says in the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. Yes. For he, when the Spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself, all that he hear shall he speak. Now the only person when he got revelation and he spoke, it was Prophet Muhammad. Our Cambridge did not get any speech. You understood? I understand. All that he hear shall he speak. He shall not speak of himself. All that he hear shall he speak. He shall glorify me. The spirit, Archangel Gabriel never glorified Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Correct? It was Prophet Muhammad who glorified Jesus, peace be upon him. Yeah, so is. this again refers only to the last and final messenger, that is Prophet, Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad peace be upon him. And furthermore, the other references of comfort, everything, all this talk about the person who is praiseworthy, the person who needs to be so praised the most. Just the outline. So, at, like, I mean, if if I want to look at it from a, from an Islamic point of view, uh, there is uh, there is no uh, existence of uh, uh, the uh, the Holy Spirit as in the Spirit of God. No, Spirit of God is different. Holy Spirit is different. Absolutely. I'm, no, I'm talking about the Spirit of Christ. We there in Islam, no... we in Islam believe in human beings. Mm -hmm. Among the human beings, the best are the messengers. And 25 are mentioned by name, and five are supposed to be the great messenger. One of them is Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. It's also Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the last and final messenger. Then we have the angels. The angels are different. So there is no spirit of Christ, basically. No spirit of Christ. Christ is the messenger of Almighty God, and Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim, the Muslim faith does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe that he was born miraculously without any main intervention, which many modern day Christians do not believe. We believe that he was called the Christ. Christ means the Messiah. I do not know. We believe that, that he gave life to the earth with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Muslims and the Christians are going together. But one may ask, where is the parting of faith? The parting of faith that is, is uh, believing that. Uh, one that believes that Jesus Christ was the incarnation of Most God. of the Christians believe that Jesus is God himself. Yeah, we believe that. Or son of God, but God himself. Did. God himself. Which we object. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God, or where he says worship me. If any Christian can point out a single unequivocal statement, a single unambiguous statement from the complete Bible anywhere where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says, that I am God, or where he says, worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity. Uh, it says, it does not say directly, but it does say that. Unambiguous, I, unequivocal statement. Yeah, I mean, it says that, uh, uh, that I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. Now, when he says, except through me, does he 
mean uh, nobody else but him this is a statement from gospel of john chapter number 14 verse number 6 yeah i am the way the truth and the life i am the way the truth and the life no man come into all god but through me yes. so this is a statement this is a statement if you know the context for context you have to go to verse number one in the gospel of john chapter number 14 verse number one jesus christ peace be upon him says that if you believe in god you if you believe all believe in me i am going there to prepare a place for you and in my father's house there are many many mansions many, many rooms i'm going i'm going there to prepare a place for you and you and you know where i go so one apostle said, no we don't know then he says i am the way the truth and the life no man coming into my father but through me now this is the statement of every messenger every messenger at his time he was the way the truth and the life no man came unto all, Almighty God but through the teachings of the messenger. At the time of Moses, Moses was the way, the truth, and the life. No man came unto Almighty God but through the teachings of Moses. At the time of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, we surely believe that he was the way, the truth, and the life. No man came unto Almighty God but through the teachings of Jesus, peace be upon him. But Jesus also said that, the, that I've got many things to send to you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. Today, who is the way, the truth, and the life? It is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Today, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto Almighty God, but through Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But that does not make Prophet Muhammad as God. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is showing you the way of Almighty God. So I surely believe in this verse. So in no verse way does true. this verse ever make you believe that Jesus is God. But, but you do you believe that that verse is true and that Jesus I Christ... I totally agree, but what is the meaning of it? It means that Jesus is a messenger of God, peace be upon him. And I believe he is a messenger of God. And, and Jesus immediately after two, two chapters later says, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. Bear for he went the spirit. Comfort that means he's telling you, he's telling all the Christians that you have to believe in the last and final messenger. As the Christian day to the Jews, we believe in all the messengers. You believe in one more messenger, Prophet Jesus. We Muslims tell you that you are a brother. We and believe in all the messengers mentioned in the Bible. We tell you, you should also believe in the last messenger which is mentioned in the Bible. That's the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon you. That's the request. Uh, and we would like to give uh, the chance, inshallah, to uh, others. Brother, do you believe in the last and final messenger? Do you believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? I believe that he was a, a good man. No, do you believe he's a messenger? I, Jesus Christ didn't say he was a good man. I Jesus know. Christ said, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he went the spirit of Trusha. You are also a good man, brother. You are a good man. So but that doesn't make you messenger. <laughs> it clearly says that he is the comforter will come. It, and it, and it, if you read in the Old Testament, book of Deuteronomy chapter number 18 verse number 18, book of Deuteronomy chapter number 18 verse number 19, in the book of Isaiah chapter 29 verse number 12, it clearly says. So all these prophecies are mentioning about the last and final messenger. Someone else will come after me. After him it has to be a messenger. Correct? So if you are a good Christian, if you follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, you have to follow in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, otherwise you are not a good Christian. All right, so thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. And I pray thank to Allah to give you guidance. Thank you, sir. Thank, the most you, sir. thank you very much. This was very interesting to watch. I mean, there's nothing that I can say or add to this that can change anything. It was straightforward and I feel like it should be taken as an educative video. It's teaching you something that you may never have come across or it's teaching you something new or it's just explaining something that you've had doubts with a big shout out to the person that suggested this uh make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video